Welcome to North of the Broad, everyone. I'm Robin Zimmerman. I'm your host, and we bring you our show each month from the Pat Conroy Literary Center. And executive director Jonathan Haupt is our first guest, as he most normally is. <laughs> Good to see you, Jonathan. Me too, Robin. We're in an exciting time. Camp Conroy just started on Monday. So how is it going? It's incredible. We're in day three, and I actually miss the kids just by virtue of being over here <laughs> right. today, but I wasn't going to miss this. Uh, we have uh, 16 of them this year, and they're, they're creating art and writing stories and poetry all around this theme of free to be, and they're just making it their own. They're figuring it out. They're just so clever and creative. If you, if you give them some room, they will figure out how to, how to solve a problem or how to interpret a theme. It's, it's just, just fascinating to It's watch. amazing. And they are at the Buford Middle School. And mm -hmm. is it all in person? Do you have some Zoom? Uh, a little bit of both this year, okay. mostly in person, but a little bit of both, both in terms of campers and some visiting instructors who are Zooming in too. Okay, very good. So you've got a whole nother week to go after this yes. week. So mm -hmm. fantastic, great program. And what year are we in? We are in year four. So it's a two week camp. And at the end of the second week, they all have written and illustrated a book together. It's mm. a pretty remarkable thing. Outstanding. A lot coming up in July and August. Let's begin with, you've got some online workshops. Uh, coming up in July and I believe, uh, and then an in-person in August, on August 31st. you want to kind of review for us what's coming up? Sure, absolutely. The, the online workshops have been just amazing for our Conroy Center. It allows us to interact with students all over the country and beyond it. We had a class last night with an international group of participants and no one other than me was in Beaufort County. They're from, wow. they're from everywhere else, so that's, uh, that's what makes it possible. But these students have been asking for a couple of topics, and uh, the two classes we have coming up really are meant to address them. So on July 29th, uh, we have our friend Amber Wheeler-Bacon, who's back to teach Tools for Publication, uh, which is variation on a class that I've taught a couple of times, but even I'm excited about taking Amber's class because she knows a lot more about how to get published than I do. Okay. So that's really an opportunity okay. for people who are ready to cross that threshold and put something out there to be published or to submit it for a contest. And then another question we get quite a lot is, I'm a fiction writer, can't I just make everything up? Well, you know, <laughs> not necessarily. Right. Yes, it depends on what you're doing. <laughs> So a mystery writer named Linda Lovely, who used to live on Fripp Island, is going to teach a virtual class for us about that very thing, about what kind of research she does to kind of ground her, her fiction in reality so that it feels familiar right, and real right. to readers. And then when you make the big thing up, they'll believe it because everything else has been true up until that point. Right. And then she's also going to do an in-person <clears throat> event in August. August 31st, she'll be okay. here in the room that we're in right now okay. uh, to talk about her brand new mystery book, which is called With Neighbors Like These. It's in a new series called the HOA, the Homeowners Association Mystery Series. So oh, sounds wow. like it's going to be a lot of fun. But she'll be here on the 31st in person with books. And we have the Children's Book Fair, which I believe is on August the 10th. And that's going to be the Coastal Discovery Museum. Is this the first time for this or is this an ongoing? This is the third or maybe even okay. the fourth time we did this. We weren't able to do it last year as an in-person event because of the pandemic, of course. Right. We did a sort of virtual variation on it. Right. But this year we'll be back at Honeyhorn on Hilton Head with our friends at the Coastal Discovery Museum with about a dozen children's writers and illustrators from all over the low country. Mm -hmm. The Family Fun Day is an entirely free event, Tuesday, right. August 10th, from 10 in the morning to 1 p.m. Farmer's Market is going on. Right. So, you know, several hundred people come out there and the Children's Book Fair will be under the pavilion. So very easy to get to in a nice covered outdoor space. Books will be for sale and we may be doing some fun activities with the kids that day, too. And being a children's writer, I would think, would be very different than being a writer for adult, whether fiction, nonfiction, historical fiction. Absolutely. I think it would be a very different, obviously, genre. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Pat Conroy tried it at one point because his daughter, Melissa, is a children's book author. And children's picture books are typically 32 pages, and Pat set out to write a 32-page book. And 100 pages into the manuscript, he realized that was not a realistic goal for him at all. So for folks in the community who are interested in that, about writing or, mm -hmm. or uh, illustrating a children's book, I encourage them to come out to the Children's sure. Book Fair and meet people who've done it okay. as well. It's a really nice networking opportunity. And that, again, is on August the 10th at Honeyhorn. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan, for being with us again. You're welcome. And have another rest of, great rest of your week at Camp Conroy and next week, too. Thank you so much, Robin. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad. Stay with us.